Well, hello there. I hope everyone out there is doing okay. And um, if you are a music fan, especially uh, fans of artists who uh, produced music in the 1960s and the 1970s, this video is for you. I wasn't planning to make this video, but all of a sudden I just kind of decided to uh, feel like making it because, um, well, this is about an album review which has come out in 2020. And this is one of those cases where an artist has uh, come back after a long time of not releasing new material. Now, the artist I'm going to talk about has still been touring for the last several years. But for a long while, all of us who are fans of this artist were, I guess, kind of starting to wonder, would we ever hear another studio album? And for those of us who are fans of this artist, Gordon Lightfoot, we are all very, very happy to see that Gordon Lightfoot has released one more studio album. And the name of the studio album is called Solo. And Solo is a new album of 10 tracks. It's just Gordon Lightfoot and an acoustic guitar, nothing else, no other instruments. And it, it's really a kind of a nice uh, throwback to some albums that were made, especially, oh, I don't know, like in the 60s. And, and some people have made albums like that since then. But I don't know how common it is that we're going to see too many records like that as far as I'm aware of. But here is a picture of the album cover right here. I hope you can see that. The light's kind of glaring. There's a Gordon Lightfoot holding an acoustic guitar. And there's the name of the album right there. If you want my thoughts on it, I'll be kind of brief, especially since I don't have too much time to record on my phone. But I, I think Solo is definitely a worthwhile purchase and it's worth your time to hear it. I, I haven't really seen too many comments yet on what people think are like the absolute best songs. Um, and of course, this is music, so maybe what I think is not as great of a song, maybe you'll think will be better. But the two songs that I definitely love off of this new album here, and I'll show you the back cover too, you can see that. I like especially track number five and track number 10. Track number five is Do You Walk, Do You Talk? And track number 10 is Why Not Give It A Try? These are the two songs that I've definitely been listening to the most. And having listened to the entire album, um, I have definitely been able to sit through every song. Um, you know how there are some albums out there where a lot of people have a hard time sitting through them, but th this is an album that you can easily sit through. Um, it's a good, relaxing uh, 10 songs to listen to. And though the one song, Do You Walk, Do You Talk, kind of sounds very upbeat. And I think you could rank that as one of um, Gordon Lightfoot's best songs. I mean, that could rank right up there with classics like this song could rank right up there with classics like Early Morning Rain or The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Um, of course, we all like to say Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is the number one best song ever, but I really do think Do You Walk, Do You Talk is quite the highlight on here. And why not give it a try? I think those are definitely some very catchy new songs on here. Um, I also like the opening song, Oh So Sweet. Um, and of course, the more I listen to this album, um, there may be other songs on here that I will find um, catchy over time. Sometimes you just have to do that. You have to listen to a record more than once. But yeah, this is my album review of Solo. I definitely think it's worth uh, your time. If you're a fan of Gordon Lightfoot, I definitely am telling you to listen to this and go out and buy it wherever you can find a place that's safe to buy it. Um, your record store or a place that will sell it on CD. Um, I I'm just very glad that this has been one more case where an artist has come back after a number of years and has put out a new album. We saw that a lot in the 2010s with David Bowie, The Next Day, 2013. 
uh, Pink Floyd, The Endless River in 2014, and even Proko Harem in 2017, they released an album called Novum. So now it's Gordon Lightfoot's turn with Solo in 2020. D as I said, I definitely recommend this album, and I think if you're a fan of Gordon Lightfoot, you are going to find some stuff on here that you like. And if you've never listened to Gordon Lightfoot before, do yourself a favor and go listen to his music because there is a lot of great music you'll discover with him. So I'm not going to take up any more of your time, but I hope you have enjoyed listening to my thoughts on the new album Solo. Hope you can find a chance to listen to it. Thank you.